What's up guys, we gotta head to the shop today. I gotta figure out the alignment on this thing and I gotta make some parts. Um, come on. So first up, I wanna make some of these toe plates. So basically these you put on the either side of your car, pull some tape measures through them, and it gives you a general idea of what your toe is. Here is my toe plate. We will bend it right here at the bottom at a 90 and these are our two tape measure slots obviously. Here's our first plate, all sanded up. Now we're gonna head over to the press brake, put a little 90 on the bottom, and then see how it turns out, and make a second one. Number two. Now that I got these done, I think they definitely could have been made out of eighth inch instead of three sixteenths, but, but once you put this angle on here, it becomes super sturdy. So you don't have to worry about that, but Obviously the whole point of this is to be accurate. So I didn't want them bending. Um, so that's why I went with 190. To use these, we put these on either side of the front wheels and then we pull tape measures through these slots and we measure the difference front and back so that we can get our wheels in line. It's the next day now. Um, I didn't get a chance to use my toe plates yet. We will uh, test them out here later today. Right now I've got to finish up some axle sliders for the Suron. I've got a few orders need to go out uh, before next week. And right now, um, I've got a lathe guy that are doing these parts for me, and he's not the best, I'll be honest. And I still have to put this hex in there. Let's see if you can see this. So, I'm not real happy with these parts. You can see there's some chatter on them. I mean, in the end, it all gets covered up by the slider, so you don't see it anyway. But, regardless, I have to put a hex in there. So that's what I'm doing right now in my machine. I'm putting these back in there and uh, machining that in and the internal threads. And these are the, these are the fronts, obviously. So how this works, this is the stock um, axle cap. So it's a hollow axle. And these are end caps, right? So this replaces this on the stock um, axle. And then I've got a threaded insert and that's your hex to, to tighten it down and then obviously you can bolt this to it. So here's the setup for these. Um, I've just got some parallels in here. Drop in my part. Make sure it's nice and flat. Tighten it down. We don't need a lot. And then I have to take these parallels out because I have to tap the inside of this and my tap would run into those parallels and break so yeah, so you can see that chatter on there it does not look good but luckily it gets covered up um, you see those hex so I drill six holes around the outside of the hex and then I machine it out because you can't get a tight enough radius um, you'd have to use a tiny end mill All right, so while these fronts are running, I gotta cut out some rears. So I cut these out on the water jet first, the initial shape, and then we machine them. 
before we start cutting this half inch plate here I gotta change out this orifice in here it's a little like ruby restrictor basically and when I was cutting the 190 I could tell that um, it's on its last life it was barely getting through that so for the half inch we're definitely gonna have to, to swap it out pull this off here and right in there see that little ruby center that's what gets wore out and bang it a couple times pops right out and there's your part Here's what our water jetted uh, rear axle block looks like. And here I've got it set up in the machine already. I'm using just a rod and another vise as a stop. And next we just got to set up our tools. And there's our finished product with that beautiful ball and mill finish on there. We got our two parts done here. We are getting them assembled. We'll go package them up, print our shipping label, and get them out of the door. Here's what we're working with. We got the winter set up on here. I don't know if you guys could hear that pulling in, but she's ready to rock for the winter. However, ever since I put it on coilovers, I noticed some um, inner tire wear on my summer tires. So we gotta get this toe figured out so I don't blow through these tires. Very curious how far out these are gonna be. All right, if you look here, we're pretty close to 73, 73 and a sixteenth. And over here, we are pretty much right at 73 and a half. So we gotta come way in on this. Tesla's website here for tow is .05 degrees tow out plus or minus 
So I'm just going to try and get it um, as close to equal measurements and maybe just a little bit longer on the front. And being that we're not on an alignment rack and it's not taking the entire car into consideration, we just have to be very careful when we're adjusting our tie rods to go identical turns on the left and the right. And then our steering wheel stood, should stay straight. My car is too low. It won't, the lift won't fit under it. I guess so I got to drive it up on blocks first. Perfect. Alright, I'm trying to figure this out here, how much I need to move my tie rods. I gotta come in a half inch on the front. Okay, so a quarter on each side gives me a half inch, but then I believe that moves the back a quarter as well. So, I think it's an eighth inch, right? An eighth here, an eighth here, an eighth here, and an eighth here. Does that equal what I needed to? Alright, so what I did here, I got this jam nut loosened. I went and got a piece of eighth inch, just scrap aluminum. I'm going to stick that in there, tighten it up, pull it out. Now we should be able to tighten the tie rod up to that jam nut, do the exact same on the other side and we should be good to go. Um, so now I'm at 73 on this side and past 73 and a half on this side. So makes sense now that I think about it that tie rod is not on the edge of the wheel, it's inside. So moving that an eighth is going to correlate way more than an eighth on the outside. So, being that we went backwards with our measurements, I think I could find a piece of 16th inch material and do the opposite. Next thing I want to do is get the salt washed off of this thing and get her back on the road. Blech. And she looks decent on the winters, but I tell you what, I sure do miss the summer look already. Pop that up right now. She looks good on them summer wheels. <laughs> 